Hey guys, it's Joe on Tuesday instead of Monday this week, and this is Practice Mates Pros. Apologies for this video being a little bit late. I'm on spring break at the moment, which means I'm home from university for three weeks. However, I've been extremely busy doing university work. On top of this, we've just recently got a new dog to replace our old dog who unfortunately passed away due to old age. Picture here. That was our old dog, Mally. And this is our new dog. Toby, come say hello. Toby, come say hello. <laughs> look, look up at the camera. Look up there. There we are. This is Toby. A black, he's a black Labrador and he's only one so he's very boisterous which means I've had to take him out for plenty of walks. So after watching Tracy and Ali's videos, today I thought I'd talk about writing a blurb which was actually the last topic on our list. So when writing a blurb there's a few things you need to consider. The first thing is you don't want the blurb to give too much away. Because if you do that, then the person's less likely to read the book because they can figure out most of the plot from what you've written in the blurb. You want to intrigue the reader, interest them, give them a few questions to ponder. If you do that, they're going to be more likely to pick up the book because they don't know the full extent of the story from what you've written on the back. The second thing you need to remember when writing the blurb is that that's going to be the first thing your reader reads. You need to be brief and to the point. Relating back to the first point, you need to make sure it's interesting and worth their while to read it. There's no point writing a blurb if you're going to put on the back, this is Bob, Bob lives in the house. Bob goes out and does day-to-day -day activities. Bob meets Jill, Bob falls in love, the end. Because no one's going to want to read that book. They're more likely to read that book if you wrote something more like this. This is Bob, who was an average Joe, or an average Bob, if you will. But that was only until he met Jill, who he considered to be the love of his life from the moment he set eyes on her. But does everyone believe in love at first sight? Personally, I'd be more likely to read that book about Bob than the first book about Bob. But that's just my opinion. That's just what I would like to read. Other people, for example, Ali and Tracy, might not be interested in that kind of thing. They might prefer a totally different book, a book that's not about love. But I'm one of those people who likes a good romance story. So I'm more likely to pick up a book with a blurb about love than a blurb about politics, for example and war. So there are a couple of my tips about writing a blurb. Keep it short and to the point and make sure it's interesting. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. There's a little square at the bottom. If you click on that, that will take you to our channel and you can press the subscribe button there or at the bottom of this video. Also don't forget to subscribe to my channel Ali's channel and Tracy's channel. There's links to all those on our Practice Makes Pros channel. Stay tuned for Ali's video tomorrow and Tracy's video on Friday where we'll be starting a new topic. And as always, never forget, practice really does make pros. Hey, mister. Yeah, give me kisses, give me kisses. Time to go, good boy.